Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Who is that man, Mother? They call him Jesus of Nazareth. Some say he is a great teacher. Others say he is the Messiah. The Messiah? What do you think? I think we need to go. Grandfather Reuben will be waiting for his supper. Come. Peace be unto you. And unto you. Tell me your name. Rebecca. Rebecca. That's a beautiful name. Rebecca! But I want to stay here. With him. I wanted to see him up close. I wanted to see if he was the Messiah. And now we're late. He smiled at me, and he knows my name. Would he smile if he knew what a disobedient daughter I had? I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Sorry that I have such a child to deal with. What do you think, Grandfather? Do you believe he is the Messiah? Well, I... How would your grandfather know? Has he seen him? No. But grandfather is a wise man. He knows without seeing. Go and fetch some water from the well. Your grandfather is hungry. <laughs> the stomach is empty, but the heart is full. You saw him, Mother. What do you think? I think I'm too busy to think. Please, go fetch some water. Better do as she says. She sounds serious. I don't know what to do, Father. Why won't she listen? She reminds me of someone. Who? A little girl I once knew. A little girl who could sing like an angel. What have I to sing about? Rebecca is still a child. Be patient. You're right. Rebecca is a child. And I am her mother. That is why I worry. I've heard rumors about that man they call Jesus of Nazareth. There are those that revile him. Those that would do him harm. I'm trying to protect her. Did you save any bread for me? You have bread at your own house. But I will share. Thank you. Isaac, today I saw the man they called Jesus. Have you heard of him? Some say he's the Messiah. What do you think? I haven't made up my mind. I leave at first light in the morning to go hear him. Take me with you, please. You're just a girl. And I'll tell you all about it when I return. Is it my fault I'm a girl? I want to know too. Please? Perhaps this is why your mother's always so angry with you. Isaac! We'll see if you wake early enough. I thought I asked you.
you to put the food away. Isaac went to go listen to Jesus preach today. I wanted to go too, but he wouldn't take me. Do you want to go see him? We could all go together. And who would do the work while we're gone? When will he be home, that Isaac? We've been waiting all day. Where are you going? I need to speak with Isaac. In the morning. But I want to hear about Jesus. It will wait. Grandfather Ruben, please. It will wait. great multitude of people gathered all around him. Thousands. Hours passed and everyone was hungry. But no one wanted to leave. Why? Because of the great things he taught. They asked if anyone had food. And there was a boy with five small loaves of bread and two fishes. Jesus blessed the food and broke it into pieces. And he fed everyone. How? I don't know, but I saw it, Rebecca. I saw it with my own eyes. He fed us all. Some say he's the savior of the world. And you? What do you say? I say they are right. There are many who believe his teachings and say he is the Messiah. And there are many more who say he is not. I was there when he healed the leper. I saw it. Are you so easily deceived? Did the prophets not warn us? Suffer the little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. I pray thee, bless my child. Such a beautiful child. Rebecca, come. Peace be unto you. And you also. Except you become as a little child. 
ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Rebecca? Hours. What were you thinking? But I had to see him. No supper for you tonight. Mother, I'm sorry. I only wanted to... I don't want to hear it. Straight to bed. <laughs> Rebecca, come here, my child. Where's mother? She won't like that I'm up. Your mother needed some time to herself. Remember when mother would sing to me whenever I was sad? Why doesn't she sing anymore? Your mother has a lot of sadness in her. She misses your father. Don't cry, Rebecca. I saved you a portion of my supper. Thank you, Grandfather. But I'm not crying because I'm hungry. Ah, oh, I see. Rebecca, we all do things that we regret. Things that we long to be forgiven for. Even you? Yes. Even I. One of those things that I regret took place when I was just a young man many years ago. I used to work for an innkeeper in those days. I would take care of preparing the rooms and making sure that things were in order. One day, a young man came to the inn with his wife. And he said that his name was Joseph and his wife's name was Mary. They said that they had traveled a long distance and that they were very tired. Mary was a child and her time was near. And Joseph asked if I had a room where they could stay. Did you have a room for them? I could have made a room for them, but I was young and lazy and didn't want to take the time to do so. And that's when I made a terrible mistake. And I told them that there was no room. After they left, I couldn't get Mary's face out of my mind. So I hurried and prepared a room for them and went out to search for them. Did you find them? Yes, I found them in a stable. But I was too late. The baby had already been born. Born in a lowly stable because I didn't take the time to help them. And 
who was with Shane. Mary saw me hiding in the shadows, and she smiled at me. And she bid me come and see the Savior of the world. She said that? The Savior of the world? Yes, she did. Grandfather. Rebecca, this teacher, this man that you went to see today, do you think that he could be that same child? Isaac says he is. Oh, if I could but see him, then I would know. Then we'll go tomorrow, together. Oh, I, I, I can't go, Rebecca, you know that. I'm, I'm old and my legs are tired, and besides, how, how could I see? You can lean on me, or I will ask Isaac if we can use his donkey. Oh, well, let me think about that. That means no. <laughs> you know me too well. But you must see him, Grandfather, or how will you know? You look tired. Why don't you take Grandfather inside? I'll finish up here. Of course I'm tired. I was up half the night waiting for you to come home. I said I was sorry a dozen times. What more can I do? You repent too often and too easily, Rebecca. What more can you do? You can listen and obey. Then you won't need to say sorry. Do you understand? I understand. But I had to see him. Why? Because I have to know. I've heard enough. Go fetch more water. Grandfather. Do as she says. Don't you want to know if he's the Messiah, Mother? If you hold a little bird too tightly, you may damage its wings. I hold her tight because she is all that I have left. Perhaps we should listen to our little bird. Maybe this man that she speaks of is the Messiah. to buy fish for the feast? Me? You want me to go? Yes. Grandfather, did you hear that? Mother is allowing me to go to the market by myself, alone. There's nothing wrong with my ears, child. Hurry and go. I, I am. I mean, I will. And I won't drop the coins, and I'll be home on time, and I Now hurry before I change my mind. Grandfather. I told my grandfather all about you. He wanted to come with me today, but he is too old and can't travel. Grandfather. Back so soon? Your mother will be pleased, and so am I. Yes, I hurry. Did something happen? No. I mean, yes. I met someone, and I brought him to see you. Sarah? What is it? Help me to my feet. Your daughter has brought a guest. Rebecca, the house isn't ready to receive anyone. 
He didn't come to see the house. That child. Indeed. This is my mother. Sarah. And this is my grandfather. Peace be unto you, Reuben. And to you. Come, sit. You must be tired, thirsty. If we had known you were coming, we would have prepared. Rebecca can be an impulsive child. Your daughter has wisdom far beyond her years. Perhaps she learned it from her mother. I did. We don't have much, but what we do have is yours. Woman, where is the husband? Will we wait for him? My husband passed away some time after Rebecca was born. Come, sit with her. Do you think we will ever see father again? No, Rebecca. He is dead. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. father wasn't always blind. He took good care of us until he lost his sight. And now it is our turn to look after him. Open your eyes, Reuben. had been here to see what we saw. And you didn't even think to invite me. How could I invite you if you're fishing with your father? Besides, I'm just a girl. Isn't that right? <sighs> I see how it is. Isaac, good morning. Rebecca has been anxiously awaiting your return. My, what a fine-looking young man you've become. 
Very fine indeed. You can speak? Grandfather! Grandfather? What did the darkness mean? I don't know. They killed him! Who? They killed the Messiah! Rebecca? Understand? He was so good and so kind. Why did they have to hurt him? Why? He came to save the world, Rebecca. Just like he told you. He gave his life willingly. For all of us. For you. For me. And now it is done. We'll never see him again. She hasn't spoken in over a week. I don't know what to do for her. Perhaps if she has to help someone else, she'll forget her troubles. I have an idea. How are you feeling this morning? Hmm. I'm not so good myself. You're not? What's wrong? I've been longing for a supper of fish. And your mother's busy and can't go to the market. Perhaps Isaac could go. No. He's too busy riding around on his donkey pretending to be something important. Hmm. I suppose I'll have to do without. I will go. You will? You will go? Well, of course. Why didn't I think of that myself?
tell Mother where I've gone. Thank you, my child. I thought I'd never see you again. Remember, I am with you always. She's coming. Mother! Mother! What is it? I saw him. He lives. Does this mean you'll see Father again? He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Yes, Rebecca, we will see.